In this problem, we're given the image for the mapping of a relation. We're asked to find the list of ordered pairs of the relation, the domain of the relation, and the range of the relation. This is an example of how we don't need strictly numbers to have a relation. We have inputs, we have outputs. That's what gives us the relation. The inputs make up the x values of the ordered pairs of the relation, and the y values, or the, the outputs make up the y values uh, of the ordered pairs of the relation. So with part A, we'll simply come down here so we can have one long string. Or at least I'm going to attempt to have one long string. So we start with our inputs and then we look at corresponding outputs. So our, And we'll put it in set notation, just as we've seen in previous examples. So our first input is Khan. I, I'm going to butcher that last name so I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. But that's our first x value of our ordered pairs. So con n g u y e n. And then we follow the ar arrow to our output, and that's going to be the y value that corresponds to the x value, the input value. So k n 68413. And then we go to our next ordered pair, which we have Abigail Brown. And then follow that to the corresponding output, AB56781. The third is Samantha Michal. So that will be our next x coordinate. We follow that to the corresponding output, which is SM32479. It looks like I'm going to run out of room, so my, my big long string didn't work, so I'll put it just below it. Our last input, our last x value, is Jose Hernandez. And the corresponding output is JH47983. So there is the list of ordered pairs of the relation. Now we're asked to find the domain of the relation. Well, just as in previous examples, the domain of the relation is the set of inputs, the set of our x values as far as our ordered pairs are concerned. So we have the domain. is the set of inputs. So con Abigail Samantha and last but not least Jose Hernandez. So there's our domain and last, our range is going to be the set of y values, the set of outputs. So KN68413. AB56781. SM32479. And JH. Four seven nine eight three. So anytime we have a mapping, our ordered pairs are going to be the set of ordered pairs of input versus output, or inverse comma input comma output. Our domain is going to be the set of inputs, our set of x values, and our range is going to be the set of outputs, the set of y values.